Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will learn to construct box and discrete plots. Now we know that medium divides the data set in two equal parts and cortex divides the data set in four equal parts. A box and disk plot is a diagram that is constructed using the medium quartiles and extreme values. And here a box is drawn around the quartile values and the whiskers extend from each quartile to the extreme values. And here, the medium is marked with a vertical line inside this box. Now here you can see, a number line is drawn for the given data. In this diagram, the box starts from the quartile, which is 38, till the upper quartile, which is 52 and the viscous start from lower quartile and extend to the lower extreme value which is 23 and the other viscous starts from upper quartile and extend the upper extreme value which is 63 and the median is 49 which is shown by the vertical line inside this box and this horizontal line inside the box shows the interquartile range. So for constructing a box and disk plot, we should know these five values, that is the lower extreme value, the upper extreme value, the lower quartile, upper quartile and the median. From these five values, we can easily construct a box and disk plot. Also, a box and disk plot separates data into four parts even though the parts may differ in length, each contain 25% of the data. Now let us discuss this example in which we have to construct a box and disk plot showing temperatures of various cities and here this data is given to us. Now in the first step, we will arrange the given data from least to the greatest. And arranging, we get 15, 22, 22, 26, 27, 29, 30, 31, 32, 36 and 36. Now in the second step, we will draw a number line that covers the range of data. Now in the next step, we will find median, extremes, upper and low quartile values. Now for the given data, the number of terms n is 11, which is odd. So the median will be the middle value. Now here the median Q is equal to the middle value. Now here the middle value is 29. So median is equal to 29. Now we know that median of lower half of data set, that is the values below the median value, is all the lower quartile and 
the median of upper half of data set is called the upper quartile. Now here you can see that the number of terms in the lower half of data set is 5 which is odd. It means the median of these 5 values will be the middle value. So the lower quartile Q1 is equal to 22 and similarly we can find the upper quartile also. So from the given data upper quartile Q2 is equal to 32 and from the given data the lower extreme value is 15 and the upper extreme value is 36. Now let us plot these five values on the number line. So we have plotted these five values on the number line where Q is the median, Q1 is the lower quartile, Q2 is the upper quartile and here 15 and 36 are the lower extreme value and the upper extreme value respectively. Then in the next step we will draw the box so that it includes the quartile values. That is we will start the box from Q1 to Q2 and here the vertical line inside the box shows the median Q and then in the next step extend the whiskers from the middle of each quartile to the extreme data points. In this way we have completed the construction of box and whisker plot for the given data. Now the box and whisker plot is very helpful in interpretation. This diagram tells us about the spread of data. If the length of the whisker or box is short, then the values of the data are concentrated and if this length is long, then the values of the data in that part are spread out. We can interpret the data for this example. Now here the lower quartile whisker that is this whisker is longer than that of the upper quartile whisker. So the values are more spread out below the lower quartile than above the upper quartile. Now let us discuss double box and whisker plot. Now this is used to compare two data sets A double box and whisker plot consists of two box and whisker plots graphed on the same number line. Now let us discuss this example in which we have to compare the surfboard prices of shop A and shop B. Now here from the number line we can see that the extreme values for shop A are 250 and 600 and the extreme values for shop B are 300 and 900. So the range of prices for shop A is equal to the greatest value which is 600 minus the lowest value which is 250. So this is equal to 350. Similarly we can find the range of prices for shop B which is equal to 900 minus 300 
that is equal to 600. So the prices vary more in shop B than in shop A. Now let us discuss the effect of outlier. Now outlier is a value that is much greater or much less than all other values in the data set. Now consider an example for this. In this, the data is given to us as 20, 22, 30, 32, 35, 40, 44, 48 and 90. Now here we can see that all the entries are between 20 and 48 but 90 is very far away from all other entries so we call it as an outlier. Now while plotting box and whisker plots we have to check for outliers. If an outlier exists, then consider the next greatest value that is not an outlier and leave the outlier value. So this is the box and whisker plot for the given data in which the whisker with upper quartile will not be made till 90 but with the next greatest value of the data that is 48 which is not an outlier and we will use an asterisk sign to indicate an outlier on the number line. So in this session we have learned to construct box and whisker plots and this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.